Oh, good morning again, Clyde Park Church. Pastor Ryan here with your daily office reflection. Um, today we are reading from the, the Psalm, uh, Psalm 90, which is another great psalm. There's, there's three psalms to choose from in today's daily office. Hopefully you have seen the link. Um, I've got it included in this video. It's on the Facebook page as well. So you can read the psalms. You can read the the gospel and the passage from First Corinthians. Um, by the way, I'll be preaching in part from part of the gospel this upcoming Sunday. So if you want to be prepared, you could read that. So Psalm ninety. It's a little bit longer. We're at seventeen verses here, and let me read that for you now. Psalm ninety. God's time and our time. A plea from Moses, God's man. My Lord, you are a shelter for us, generation after generation. Before mountains were birthed and you labored the earth and the world, from age to age you were God. You would turn mortals to crushing. You said, turn people, because a thousand years in, years in your eyes were like a day. Yesterday when it passes or a watch in a night, you swept them away in sleep, though in the morning they would be like grass that grows fresh. In the morning it can flourish and grow fresh, by evening it dries up and withers. Because we spent through your because we are spent through your anger, your through your fury, we have been overwhelmed. You have set our wayward acts in front of you, our youthful deeds in the light of your face. Because all our days have passed away in your wrath, we have spent our years in moaning. The days of our years in themselves are seventy years, or with strength eighty years. But their energy has been trouble and toil, because it has passed by speedily, and we have flown away. Who acknowledges the force of your anger, and your wrath in accordance with, your, with awe for you? And counting our days, so make us acknowledge it, in order that we may get a wise mind. Turn, Yahweh, how long? Relent from your relent about your servants fill us in the morning with your commitment and we will resound and celebrate all our days enable us to celebrate in accordance with the days of your afflicting us the years we have seen evil may your act appear to your servants your majesty for their descendants may my lord's wish come about our god for us establish the deed of our hands for us yes establish the deed of our hands establish it um, that's a Golding Jays translation. There are several other translations. Another one says, let the favor of the Lord be upon us and prosper us for the work of our hands. Oh, prosper the work of our hands. Um, I'm going to include in the comments of this video, there's going to be a link to a song that was written based off of, uh, this, th that last verse, um, and, and I really like it. It says, let the favor of the Lord rest upon us. Oh, Lord, establish the work of your, our hands. Which I just, it's a pretty song. And then establishing uh, the work in our work in God. Um which work is a theme that I think is important for us. Uh, we as a culture like to work. We're busy. Uh, many of us are being prevented from working right now. Um, so what does it mean for our work to be established by God's hand and not by our hand? Um, is your work, and all of us work, whether it's a job or it's something else. We all do some sort of work every single day. Um, what is your work and who is it for? How are you working? Um, are you and, and it could be hard to do. Um, I have long said that everybody in the church needs to have a job. Um, and I have said that even shut-ins who who might not have the strength to get out and about have work to do for the church. And I've always said their duty is to pray. So while we're in this season of, of self-confinement, Maybe our work is pray. Maybe our work is new habits. Maybe our work is learning how to read the Bible every morning. Maybe it's learning how to read the Bible. If you want to know that, I, I can help you in doing that. Um, 
There's lots of things that we can do to be occupied. We do not have to be bored. We do not have to just spend our lives in zombie, as zombies in front of screens. I know it's hard to be separated from people. I know it's hard to be confined. I know the weather has not been great for getting outside. Um, but I think we should make this our prayer that God would establish the work of our hands. That we would turn to God in this time and let God guide our time and our minutes. For those who are still having to work, um, you're probably learning new ways of working. Um, many are working from home, many are working alternate schedules, and it's it's been a hard transition. It's been rough for me. Um, I'm taking these videos and thinking, man, I really need to start like using some eye cream or something. I look terrible. Um, you're welcome for that awful vain joke, um, especially after last Sunday's sermon where I was preaching about not what, what, worrying about what we will wear or what we will eat. Um, but yeah, our work has changed. Some people are working from home. Some people are, are not. Some families are getting on each other's nerves. Uh, that's pretty normal. Um, but even, even there, we can let God establish our work. So I pray that you have a great day. I'm praying for you. I am anxious to be united. This upcoming Sunday, we will not be able to gather for worship again, which breaks my heart. But I am, it is making, it is whetting my appetite for the time when we can celebrate Christ together, when we can worship, when we get to be the body of Christ together. I pray that you will have a wonderful day and may God bless you. Take care.